Hey everybody, welcome back to chapter three. This is part two of the chapter. We're going to be looking at the cell cycle and this is slide 19. The cell cycle is a series of events basically that <clears throat> takes place in a cell leading to its division and replication that produces two daughter cells. And each of these two daughter cells is identical to the original in chromosome number. You can think of the cell cycle overall as basically three phases. Interphase, number two, mitosis, and number three, cytokinesis. In interphase, the cell carries out all of its routine functions. Basically, it's resting from dividing. You can kind of think of interphase as the cell just hanging out doing what a cell does. It's like, hey, man, I'm just being a cell. I'm just like, you know, resting. I'm eating, I'm chilling, I'm feeding myself, I'm doing my basic activities. I'm not interested in growing too much, I'm not interested in dividing too much right now. I'm just chilling for a second. There are three subphases within that. The gap, which is gap one, if you look at this pie chart right here, G1 stands for growth, and gap one is when the cell is actually growing in size. And this can take several hours to several minutes in length, depending on the type of cell that it is. The second subphase of interphase is what we call the S, which stands for synthesis, which means copying the DNA. And the third subphase is G2, also known as the GAP2, which is growth and final preparations for division. And here you can see that right here, the last phase, G2, on our pie chart. After the cell goes through interphase and does these three subphases, it'll enter something that a lot of you have heard of called mitosis. And we'll be talking about those phases more. When it completes this entire cycle, it will hopefully make two new daughter cells from one original cell. Before it can make two new daughter cells, this cell must divide into two. And so this pinching in right here that's starting to occur on the cytoplasm is what we call cytokinesis, which means literally pinching in, and this will pinch all the way through. Here I have a model of clay on my keyboard. And so, hello blob of clay. <laughs> you can think of this as the final cell, and here goes cytokinesis. You'll see like pinching in, and the cell will pinch in, pinching in like this, okay? and then it will begin to divide into two complete cells, if I can rip it apart here more. And this is what we think of as cytokinesis, the pinching in, that will originally, that will eventually lead to two new cells being made. And so I'm kind of pulling them apart, making two new cells here. So you get the idea. And uh, if I had two hands, I'm holding the camera with one, so it's hard to rip it apart, but it will eventually pinch all the way through and you will have two new cells. There's one. Here's the other. And these are called daughter cells. 